Proton, the company behind the absurdly popular Proton Mail, released their very own VPN service, Proton VPN, and oh man, I'm pumped to review this one. Hello everybody, welcome to TechLore. Today I'm going to review the very much hyped Proton VPN. As always, I will be scoring the service in these five categories weighted by importance for a total score out of five. If it scores four stars or higher, it gets to be TechLore approved and it will go on the channel hall of fame. Before we start, let me clear some stuff up. Proton claims their VPN is free, but really they just offer a free variant. They actually have four different plans. free. Basic, Plus, and Visionary. For testing, I'm going to review and score their free program as well as their Plus program since the only difference between Plus and Visionary is the inclusion of Proton Mail. So let's start at security worth 40%. Proton VPN Plus and Free both use AES-256 data encryption as well as 2048 RSA handshake encryption, both of which are very strong, but there have been services I've reviewed with 4096 handshake encryption. Proton VPN is based in Switzerland, which is outside the 14 eyes. They don't keep logs outside of timestamps. They claim to use this information to know how many devices are connected to their servers. Not the most assuring thing to find out. You can use Bitcoin as an anonymous form of payment. They use their own DNS servers. They have DNS leak protection. They offer a full system network kill switch. They also offer their own secure core technology for boosted security with a plus account. They do not meet privacy tools IO criteria, which is disappointing to hear, but that doesn't mean it's unsecure. I ran a DNS leak test on Heidster and DNSLeakTest.com and ProtonVPN passed both tests on the free and plus version. Bring it all back together, ProtonVPN security is definitely tech lore approved. It's just not perfect because of the timestamps kept, not meeting privacy tools IO criteria, and not having the strongest possible encryption. So it's going to score four and a half stars on security with a plus account and four stars with a free account since it doesn't include their secure core technology. On to speed at 20%. Something interesting happened here and let's start with the plus account. Proton VPN Plus decreased my download speeds by an average of 13% my upload speeds by 12% and my ping by only 3 milliseconds. It's not the fastest speeds, but it was extremely consistent in my testing. Now for the free version, things got really weird. Proton VPN free decreased my download speeds an average of 14%, my upload speeds by 13%, and my ping by 3 milliseconds. There's almost no difference in the synthetic testing between free and paid speeds which really freaked me out a bit. Do keep in mind though that I am conveniently placed extremely close to a free server and they only have two free US servers. So if you're not near them, you're gonna have very, very, very low speeds and that's when you're gonna need to get a plus account to see the speed benefits. But in terms of raw capability of the servers themselves, it seems that Proton does not throttle their free servers. They only limit the number of free servers available and the high load of those servers may slow down traffic a bit, like I experienced in my testing. Overall, the free and paid plans ended up scoring three and a half stars since they need to have less than 10% speed decrease to be TechLore approved at four stars. Do keep in mind though, for a free VPN to have speeds like that, is pretty freaking impressive. Now let's go to settings at 5%. Settings were very weak with Proton VPN. They literally have six settings outside of the normal server selection process. You can start Proton with Windows, start it minimized, auto connect on startup, have a kill switch, DNS protection, notifications, and the world's simplest protocol selection. If you're a casual user, you just hit simplicity wonderland. If you're a moderate or advanced user, this is gonna suck. Pretty easy, two out of five stars. Next, usage at 15%. Proton VPN on Windows, in my opinion, was absolutely incredible. The program itself is beautiful, everything works flawlessly, and I really had no issues with the Windows experience. Proton VPN does not offer a Mac client yet, which sucks. So you guys do have to use TunnelBlick to connect to the VPN. Unsurprisingly, they do not have a Linux client, so you do have to use OpenVPN for that. They also don't have an iPhone or Android app either, so you will have to use OpenVPN on those devices also. Definitely an overall really poopy situation, but it's a brand new VPN, and they have a Mac, Android, and iPhone app 
in development as of right now, so hopefully they will have those put together for my six month update on the service. When it comes to server selection, they have five free servers in three countries, 100 normal servers, including the free ones in 14 countries, and they have an additional 12 secure core network servers for Plus and Visionary accounts. That's a total of 112 servers in 14 countries. Lastly, they allow P2P traffic on paid accounts, so don't expect to be able to torrent on a free account, even a paid account free trial. My usage experience overall was so hard to score, I didn't know what to do, because there's so, so much positive, but so much negative, and you have to weigh everything. I did my best to weigh everything out, and I put the Plus account at 2.5 stars for the lack of clients, lack of servers, and lack of consistency between Windows and other devices. The free account scored 2 stars for the same reasons, in addition to the lack of torrenting. Finally, the last category is stability at 20%. On Windows, I never had any issues at all, and the benefit to using TunnelBlick and OpenVPN on other devices is they're known to be extremely stable and secure, so no issues there either. 5 out of 5 stars for the free and plus account in stability. Now before we put all the scores together, here are some things you should know about ProtonVPN before deciding to get it. First. They allow one device on the free plan, two on basic, five on plus, and ten on visionary. Second, the free service is awesome for a free service. I'll start recommending Proton VPN to users looking for a free VPN. The very last thing we need to talk about is the Proton ecosystem. If you've never heard of Proton Mail before, you really should take a look into it. It is arguably one of, if not, the most secure email provider out there. So ProtonVPN already has a pretty great reputation. If you go with the Visionary account, you get the highest tier of not only the VPN, but their email service as well. Having a Visionary account with a fully secure email and VPN hooked up together is an awesome package that you just don't see very often, if at all. It's different, it's unique, and if you're willing to take that plunge, it's a move I'd recommend for a lot of you guys out there. So how did Proton VPN score overall? Well, the free plan scored 3.7 out of 5, exactly. And the paid plan scored, you guys are not gonna believe this, 3.975 rounding up to four stars, which is tech lore approved and earned itself a spot on the tech lore hall of fame. So there is the review, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it and you got a full explanation on Proton VPN. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for your support and for more reviews in the future. NordVPN is currently the highest rated VPN on the channel, so if you want to watch that review and compare it to Proton VPN, I will leave it right here and in the description. That's a wrap guys, I hope you all have a lemurious day. Techlore is out.